Ai aqui? I am the one who be and always will be. I am the one who is. I be who I say I is because I am. I am the creator of heaven and man. I am the justifier to the unjustified, the answer to Israel's cry. I am the voice in the wilderness that you cannot deny. I am the origin and the originator, the numerator and the denominator. I am a miracle worker, not a magician. I'm the sum of all, as any mathematician. <laughs> I'm the balance in your life that make everything straight. I divide your doubt and multiply your faith. I am the ever who is not, neither the not, never. Either the opposite of either or just call me the ever. I'm a mile higher being shy above clever. The was and is and is to come. The first definition of freedom. I'm significantly different, just call me strange. Even Satan has to bow down and see my I am the promised who was promised who is ever promising. I gave speed its speed and I'm faster than lightning. I'm the first broken word artist who spoke everything into this earthly premises. Proof, watch me rock the first open mic and the first verse of the first chapter of the first book of Genesis. Yeah. <laughs> Woe unto those who know me but claim they never heard of me. Oh. Michael Jackson may have reigned for a while, but I reign for an eternity. <laughs> I grow an unbelievers like cancer. I'm both the problem and the answer, the above and the beneath, the victory and defeat, the reason why you cry and laugh, the cause, effect, and the aftermath, the reason to your rhyme. I am the greatest of all time, and I'm more thorough than any killer. I am the thriller in Manila. <laughs> And my name shall shout throughout the world even though I don't seem famous, but still I got named that we name nameless. And you're blameless because I took the pain in. You're famous because I took the pain in. Of course all of your sins had to come with the fee, but I'm the best in your life and I come for free. Wow. <laughs> As I was secretly seeking sentences that seductively seduces saints into sin. I want to speak death to resurrection from here, there, and back again. Rewind time to the beginning before there was earth nor men, and bear witness to the decree and the declarations of the first word spoken. Come back for it fast. If you gave me a penny for my thoughts in return, I'll offer you a token and tell you about the time that I witnessed the original words, men. Speak the original words with authority. Before all this happened, there was no supremacy, no minority. Creep or race, life or death, time or space, place did not even have a place. It was just there where there was no there where there was where. And all this existence, and all this existence seemed to cease in existence once the first words were spoken into the air, which was not even there. And it not just came, it became. And when it became, everything becomes manifested. Heaven, earth, creature, and sea, and on the seventh day he rested. And God blessed it to his perfection because it was full of satisfaction. Because words were not able to kill Abel because Abel was killed by action. And as time moved along, and as time moved along, words follow suit to action and lost its place. Words became curses, lies, and faith. Words became hurt, depression, and heartache. Words were used for defense and attack and used in anguish. Words were once spoken proper, then became broken language. Then at this time, upon a time, there was a time when words were spoken into nothing, and that nothing became manifested into something. And then time moved on. Now words were spoken into something, and now something is being manifested into nothing. Words became incoherent, off direction, became confused. Words became criticism, name calling, and verbal abuse. Words became sickness and disease, full of imperfections and flaws. And somebody have the nerve to make these same words laws. Now I'm secretly seeking sentences that seductively seduce the saints into sin and take them back to a time where it all began, where the original word spoken came from the mouth of the beholder, which proved that God was its original owner. And have these sentences witness the original wordsmith, speak the original word with authority, and have these sentences witness the original wordsmith. Speak the original words with purity, because the first words were spoken in purity, honesty, trueness, and love, which was
with the natural ingredients that these worms were made of. Because when he said, let there be, it was there. And if it was there, there it was. As quick as he said it, was as quickly as it was done. Because it's proving that this word needed to be reminded, it had to be spoken first before anything manifested into form. Because that's how it was on the day that the word was born. On your credits and your fees. As a matter of fact, he needs to knock you off your high horse and blind you 
thinking that you're tired gives you a better anointing than I do. But I eat like you do. Sleep like you do. Breathe like you do. Be like you do. Just because you hear a word from the Lord doesn't mean that I don't hear one too. As a matter of fact, you don't know me. I'm a spiritual. I'm a seasoned saint, otherwise known as a spiritual OG. So don't hit me with sex mystery scriptures, because I'm involved with the okie dokie. And I'm not saying that you're holy to the holies, or to outfast you, or to put you on blast, but why must I pay $150 for a bottle of your anointed oil when I'm trying to rub these niggas together and take some gas? Real talk. And I manage the fact that you finally put down the butt wiser and a spin off, but the skeletons in your closet doesn't compete to the skeletons under your prayer cloth. Because it's the kingdom I hate. And we misrepresent it. And since the preachers are not preaching it, I spit it. And since the teachers are not teaching it, I spit it. And since we're afraid to submit it, I spit it. Because real is real. And some of us don't even keep it real because I feel it. And that's way before I try the spirit by the spirit. Because I'm real enough to tell you, there are times where I do feel alone. And I'm real enough to tell you, sometimes I don't even know how to carry Christ's cross because I'm trying to learn how to carry it on my own. And I'm real enough to tell you that this walk right here, this Christian walk right here, right, 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 right here, sometimes don't seem fair. Well, life ain't no crystal stair. And just because we're heavenly there doesn't mean that we'll be floating on clouds all the way there. And whether I eat meat or not doesn't determine whether I sin. It what comes out of the mouth from the heart, not what goes within. So let's get it right. Because that's the kingdom at hand, and we misrepresent it. And since the preachers are not preaching it, I spit it. And since the teachers are not teaching it, I spit it. And since we're afraid to admit it, I spit Because I'm going to have to be the one. And since nobody is saying nothing, I guess I'll preach it till his kingdom come. And ladies, if a man told you that God told him to marry you, run. <laughs> I'm about to throw at you. Just because the doors of the church are open doesn't mean that your legs have to. Because it's the kingdom at hand, and we misrepresent it. And since the preachers are not preaching it, I say. And since the teachers are not teaching it, I say. 